Jupiter, Florida actually seems to be taking over the roleplay scene on Roblox, with its popularity seemingly gone from 20 players to a thousand over the span of just a few months. This is a game that certainly reminds you of Southwest Florida, but in a very unique way. Now, they have recently had some updates that I think are worth checking out, and most of these buildings are actually new, haven't been here before. Now, what I like the most about this game are the unique water features, such as fishing, driving boats, etc. This is a very unique feature that I don't think I've seen in any other roleplay game before so as you can see i'm currently fishing and once we do this we actually catch a fish and then we can go and sell the fish for some money really cool stuff so now when we're going through the job section here you can see there are a bunch of different jobs and this right here the delivery driver is a completely new job so we're gonna join up and see what this is all about all right so we spawn over at this like warehouse or whatever and our current task is to rest and wait for our next task <laughs> okay oh yeah so over here we can actually collect some stuff so we have a box here we're supposed to collect and now we're gonna bring it over to the other side oh my gosh we're walking so slowly so yeah now we're gonna walk over to that van that's standing over there and we're gonna simply put the box in the back now i'm not sure if i like how slow we're walking but it can certainly be improved just to make the character a little faster because you know this is insanely slow all right let's just open the back here there we go and now we can put put it in yeah cool so we just put the box in the back now we're gonna get in the vehicle and i guess we're gonna just see a little drop off thing Yep, you can see there. So we're going to find our way over to that location. Also, the cars seem pretty updated compared to what I remember. These are some really nice models. The cars are really smooth. The cars are a bit sensitive, however. So uh, you got to be a little bit careful when turning. But a small issue I noticed are these small lag spikes. Yeah, sometimes there are these lag spikes in the game. You will notice. But that's fine. Honestly, I can understand that they will probably improve that further on. Or maybe it's just my PC that's messing up. I don't know. So yeah, me and this other delivery driver seems to be going the same direction. And we're supposed to turn in here. Oh yeah, he's also turning in here. Do we got the same drop off? It would be a little bit funny. Seems like it's over at the fish store or something. Hey, move, sir. You're blocking the traffic here. Oh my gosh, what is he doing? The weather isn't really too good today. But yeah, that's fine. Oh yeah, Jupiter Marina. Let's drop off our boxes here then all right let's do this let's open up the bag let's grab the box there we go now we can place it down there awesome that was that right there oh we got 813 bucks for completing that delivery awesome and yeah this is quite understandable you see the point on what to do here it's a really fun interactive job i gotta be honest and honestly i'm really glad we're seeing more roleplay games that are based in florida because florida roleplay games are for some reason really fun and i also really like the environment florida is just a nice looking place so yeah if i was to quit my job right now will i get paid directly oops shouldn't have done that so yeah in the game you also got this little phone down here and in your phone you actually got a bunch of different menus use so for example if you go into settings you can actually change wallpapers and stuff so if i want to like grab this police wallpaper or this i don't know this thing right here this luxurious car you press apply and now it's actually my wallpaper for the, for the phone that's pretty funny i like it and when you go into pickup driver it seems as if you're able to actually kind of accept deliveries here to this thing i don't know what this is but it seems to be some kind of civilian delivery driving thing that's pretty cool you're also able to interact with your vehicle and you also have spotify or their version called mustify you can actually play music in here so yeah you type in a song id and you can load the song that's cool and down on the left side here you can actually get daily rewards so essentially what happens if you log in on a daily you will essentially just get all of these different things so for me in this case i will actually get this really cool car if i play for seven days in a row that's pretty awesome now i'm gonna go into jupiter autos here and see if there are any new cars because i haven't played in a while i'm gonna just interact with this oh yeah these are boats here as you can see so you can purchase a bunch of different boats oh my lord yeah i can tell they have updated the entire ui and there are lots of cars and vehicles so yeah that's really cool i actually have a lot of money in game so maybe i should purchase something kind of go with this the ford 1969 boss this looks so cool that i'm just gonna buy it oh i gotta purchase the classic cars game pass all right heck yeah here we go let's get inside and start this thing oh <laughs> listen to this <laughs> yeah this is what we're talking about man yeah, this game is coming along great. I'm actually really surprised because I was not expecting it to do this well in such a short period of time. You know, this game isn't really that old. In fact, it's pretty new. 
Oh my gosh, a lag spike when driving into the populated areas here. Holy heck. Now, I'm not certain if there are private servers in the game yet. But if not, then I highly recommend that the developers, you know, add a few, like, private roleplay servers. Because you don't spot a lot of roleplaying happening in these, like, public servers. So, yeah, that would be really fun. Here we got a gas station. Sunrise County's noobs and soft drink. <laughs> what stress is about to get you grab a noob? What? I also like the fact that when you're scrolling through these different jobs, you actually see which ones are interactive jobs and which ones are just non-interactive. So for example, the marine forklift operator is responsible for moving cargo efficiently with imports using specialized forklift equipment. Let's join this team. Yeah, similar to the other team we spawn in a warehouse, you actually go grab one of these forklifts. Oh my gosh, Mr. Bacon, hello. How's it going? <laughs> Why are there two forklifts in each other here? This is weird. Okay, we got it. Now, I'm not entirely sure what we do. Look at what I found. I found a boat, and we're supposed to transport this boat. So, let's hire this up a little bit. Oh, yeah, there we go. Let's catch the boat. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. I'm gonna lower my forklift just a little bit. Hey, here we go. We're supposed to drop this off over here. Let's do this. This team could probably see some improvements because it's a little strange. But I still really like the idea. We're supposed to drop the boat off over here. Let's do that before we fall into the water. There we go. Can we just do it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's cool. Why is the boat driving away though? Is that normal? Yeah, I don't know. I think we have already dropped it off. I don't know though. Oh yeah, we did. We just completed that task. <laughs> That's funny. I actually make a lot of money on these teams. So I'm a premium user of Roblox. I actually get a 1.25 premium boost in game. For kind of the developers. And you also get promotions, of course. So every time you do a task, you actually get a little bit of experience. And then you can get a promotion. Now, as I'm doing my job here, it seems like all the stuff you do here is simply as collect boats. Once you collect your boats, you drop them off and make money. It's a very, like, understandable, easy job. But you could probably add more features to this more than just carrying boats and stuff i still really like the idea and i don't think i've seen anything like this before which is an amazing thing because it means that game developers are coming up with unique things even though it's 2024 let's just simply just quit that job real quick because i want to check out the police team i actually don't think i've played as a police officer before and after spawning in here i already have a few things that i would kind of want to mention first of all this is a very small police station like really small the area looks beautiful i like the flag there I like the you know, environment but a very small police station another thing i see here is this police boat which is super nice to see because it means you can also patrol the waters which is great because this game focuses a lot on water stuff but yeah in the police station it, uh, it seems like we do have a locker room the question is can we do anything in here no we cannot customize our uniforms or character or anything as of right now but that's okay to me so yeah i'm guessing that the developers haven't really added a lot of interaction to the police team yet they're most definitely gonna do it in the future at least i hope but yeah it doesn't seem like they have added that much to this yet but here we got the free police car this is really nice the ford explorer and when i'm checking this out you can see on your left hand side you have all the different lightning and stuff your police car control so to speak i can't really see what the text says because it's a really small uh, ui but here we got pursuit Cruise? What is that? A cruise, maybe it says. I don't know. I can't see it. And here is how you turn it off. No, you have it in the back only. Okay. So how do I turn it off completely? Is there a way to like completely turn the lightning off? Is there a button for that? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really sure. But the ELS is really clear, clean. I love it. Holy heck, look how beautiful this looks though. So yeah, here is what you can kind of expect of the future. More interaction with the different jobs. And I'm guessing they will probably add more jobs in the future. I'm gonna check out the sirens. Oh yeah, these are pretty nice. This game is like super appealing to the human eye. Kind of a realistic feel in a low poly style game. You know, both Southwest Florida, this game, as well as Palm Shores, all has this like low poly feel combined with realism and i really like that kind of style <laughs> it's raining with complete sun out that's pretty funny wow look at this this right here is the racetrack so essentially if you want to race you can do that down there but i think this entire like part here is completely new or remade 
I don't really remember this, but <laughs> they've added clothing in the game. You can see you can purchase a bunch of Jupiter, Florida clothing in here. Look at this enthusiast driven apparel club. You know, this is really cool. There are so many amazing things with this game. Honestly, I'm really excited to see more of it. As of right now, what I'm really interested in seeing is if police and other jobs will have more interaction to it. For example, cuffs, you know, guns, whatever. But either way, I'm really excited to see what the future of this game holds. And I'm also looking forward to seeing more things added such as cars maybe new teams such as fire department ems i'm not certain what's on the way but i'm guessing something along those lines will be implemented but yes super stunning game y'all should go check this out because it's really fun yeah hope you all have a great rest of your day and see you in the next video bye